<laughs> okay, so things might be a bit stuffed and all over the place, but hey. And also, if there's frame rate issues, it's because I'm streaming from the same game. Because not only was it having a heat issues, but it's also been damaged in the move by the crap delivery man. Anyway. Hello! Welcome to Deadly Premonition 2, the Steam release. And I'm going in with you blind. But it's a sweary game, and they're always good, so let's see what Deadly Premonition 2 has in store for us. Um, so I'm streaming from the gaming PC, and that might cause issues with things like stuttering and slowdown. I've just noticed how wonky my camera is. Like, thankfully, the, the webcam seems fine, but... <laughs> I see running away, so I don't know how fine this is. Um... <laughs> It's actually moving the desk as well. <laughs> but it's, it's... Okay. Um, are we going to be able to play this? Like this. Right. December 30th, 2018. 4.50. Look here! A small town outside New Orleans. What that leaf was about, I don't know. Actually. I'm on set. <laughs> Now that the, the stream's caught up, I can see, you know, just all that. No, that's not even. Yes, I knocked the desk and it was some sort of wobble. Time and space! Legs. Okay, so what is going on here? A door that's open. Lifts. That was upside down. That was. Completely upset. What perspective are we going from? Okay, well the body's been disassembled. And frozen in ice. Clark. Okay, the chainsawing the body. Now this just needs to go this way or the other way. <laughs> FBI, open up. They're chopping, chopping the body free. Now we wait for the capture. 88 hours later. Oh, it took 88 hours to liberate the body. God damn it. What a way to start the new year. This rate Happy I'll new be year. dead by Easter. Quiet down, Agent Jones. You're on the clock. Quiet down? <laughs> Interestingly, you have no matter what idea to expect what to walk, he walks forward. I'd be half <laughs> naked <laughs> in Havana right now if you hadn't shown up. Soaking up some rays, surrounded by a harem of bikini queens, a mojito in one hand, and a seafood slathered Havana style pizza in the other. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? Does God hate me? No. Seafood the regional bureau Havana chief pizza. merely issued a special oh, order. Great to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. How could I forget? A special order to rob me of my well-deserved vacation. Well, no vacation for you. No vacation for anyone. Agent Jones, don't let him take control of the conversation. The moment you let your guard down, he'll strike. Are we just shooting him? <laughs> and no okay. red, Drugs. remember? No drugs. No using drugs. Red is the, um... Well, no, apparently it's just take off the red colour. <laughs> red is also a drug. Come on in. Where are we going? Francis, as it's open, just come on in. Oh, is he living in my old place? <laughs> but complete hellhole with the walls being ruined by the neighbours and... <laughs> okay, he's got a lot of beer cans on the walls, the piles of pizza boxes. DVDs all over the floor. And he's smoking. <laughs> Regards! 
The Rat Man. Iris in New York. You have questions for us. Multiple people living in your brain? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes. Crimes is Zach Morgan. Not looking for D, we're looking for Z, apparently. <laughs> A different game. <laughs> I can't resist. The... Chinks all the way back there. Okay, this is weird. Okay, it's the, probably still on the rails. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm in a room and it needs me to go over to him. How can I not go anywhere but forward again? Piles of... Uh, lots of milk cars and... Lots of notes and letters. Cookies! Pizza. Owl water. Okay, I thought it was cans of beer. No, it's just water. The cat. Broken finger. Mr. Morgan, before we question you, allow me to first read you your rights. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Please keep that in mind as you speak. Do they question you on camera in your own home in America? Do we have permission to film this? A liar, Davis. You <laughs> liar. As the owl mm. <laughs> highlighted. Don't worry, my fairy. They're free to do whatever they like. Something wrong, Mr. Morgan? <clears throat> I'm FBI Special Agent Aaliyah Davis, and this is... Simon Jones. An analyst from the Boston branch. He's been monitoring us for years now. Has he? Oh, now? uh, hi. Simon Joe. Seriously. <laughs> a southern belle and a lonesome loser who can't catch a break. Quite the uncanny Why duo. Why are cousins in a You'd be the like that. perfect stars for the latest video game. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> okay, sorry. You're breaking the fourth wall already. How many years has it been since someone came to chat with us? I don't know, because oh, how long was it that the game was released? Don't relief? ask me about my fairy. <laughs> That's a private matter. Well, I mean, we can see the, um, the feathers floating. It's hard to tell what he's thinking, but my eyes can't be deceived. If he's hiding it? something, it'll come out in his face. It's not A. B. Letters of appreciation from the governor and the Department of Justice. They're caked in dust okay, as so if he doesn't even care the about them. Well, I mean, when you live in a shit all like that, you start not caring. We've got a limited number of uses for our powers. Okay, not a wasted. <laughs> not a wasted our powers. Okay, look at his poker face. Francis oh, Zach different. Morgan. He was once an FBI special agent, an extremely talented one. At least that's what they tell me. Perhaps he was a little too talented. This smell. It doesn't surprise me at this point, but it'll be problematic in court if they decide his testimony is unreliable. Or is it blood? I won't get another chance to talk to him face to face like this. I need to get him to stop smoking that for a bit. Francis, Zach, he was once in perhaps he. Hey, Belle. Why are you dressed so handsomely? 
Interrogate you. All those TVs coming. What are you talking about? Like everything is covered in blood. The thick black accessory wrapped around your neck. That's like not how you are. That's outside. a male <laughs> necktie. The color black represents confidence and interest in the self. It's, there's no male and female and ties. Your decision to wear a male tie symbolizes your declaration of war against a predominantly male society. It's either a thick, stupid cod tie or a thin pencil tie, and I like the thin pencil ties. Is that a female tie? I, I hated those stupid, thick cod ties that are like a bit. Or perhaps it's a psychological barrier meant to hide the weakness that dwells deep within your psyche. So you're meant to like pull it straight up to... <laughs> we admire your bravery. I thought you retired from profiling. Well, maybe that's a little brother's thing. <laughs> Bullseye, huh? And maybe, like, maybe you're a an just easy one to because read. They're just ties. In order to think with society, there is no male or female. A man must first gouge out his eyes and cut off his ears. Don't judge a book by its cover. You for someone who's supposed to have been one of our best, you've got an awful eye for people. Or did all that smoke and kill all your little gray cells? Okay, Aaliyah, that's enough. She's smart, but she's also more of a shrew than she lets on. Who's he playing chess? Agent Jones. That's sexual harassment. It's not sexual harassment. It's probably sexual... Aggression, sexual misappropriation, to call her a shrew. But it's not sexually harassing. It's not like he's making an advance to her or anything, or touching her. <laughs> so, Belle, does that barrier of yours also protect you from violent criminals? <laughs> he's more dangerous than I thought. I can't read him. I'll just have to assault him head on with questions then. First, I'll try using the files on the table to shake him up. An ornate antique chessboard. Who's winning? <laughs> Relatively evenly matched, although Black could get the, um, depends on who's the knight there. Looks like Black he stopped top. halfway through the game. But who was playing with him? These files are from the case that took place just outside of New Orleans in 2005. The agent who handled the case was Francis Zack Morgan. And now he's sitting right in front of me. A stage four progressive malignant tumor. How do camp, humans okay. behave so when they know the death is just around the corner? Tumor. Like him. <laughs> Stop caring about cleaning and everything. What if that human is also a high-functioning sociopath? Know, if you think you're gonna die. Stop caring. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the chess game. That That's chess fun. board looks rather old. And you can't even buy those ivory pieces anymore. Right, they were banned by the Sites Treaty. That was made in France in the 1900s. We know it's in bad taste, but the weight of the ivory just feels so good in our hands. You play chess friends. alone? Our. Is that a crime? He's playing against himself because he's got no. multiple personalities. Clearly. But it's a hard game to enjoy when you're all by yourself. Him and his imaginary He's fairy. probably just replicating famous games. Sure. Yeah. Or trying to solve problems from a chess workbook. Right, Morgan? <clears throat> Why are you. I may not look it, for... but I'm actually a bit of a chestnut myself. Chestnut? When I was in school, I used to pore over every issue of Chess Life, the magazine published by the U.S. Chess Federation. Well, 
Unfortunately, your guess is completely also, wrong, Agent Jones. he was Agent familiar Jones. with him. He isn't replicating a famous game, nor is he solving workbook problems. There isn't a single chess book to be found in this apartment. And I didn't find any chess-related websites in his internet history. He was simply playing chess. He's not on chess.com with alone. the motor system. So... What's wrong with that, Belle? I don't it's understand it. How could a single human being seriously play as both sides? You just publicly confessed to stealing personal data. Seems like that's a much bigger problem. On oh no. <laughs> Everything was done in a perfectly legal manner. We simply happened to intercept a handful of data being sent out from an unknown origin. A handful, but you know all of his. Ooh, now she's really sure. trying to scare us. <laughs> Did you hear that, my fairy? Serious nightmare fuel. There's something under the table as well. Like, pillbox. Um, you can use visions to acquire important hints that will help you proceed to the game. Be careful about using it too much, yeah. Stage four progressive malignant. How do human what if that human How is that in the house? Start just telling me to go onto his case files. That didn't help me at all. Do you remember the homicides that took place in Lucare, Louisiana in 2005? Didn't help me at all! What? We... He's <laughs> thinking hard about it. <laughs> solved that case. Sure Your report states the following. By coincidence, you encountered a serious incident in a town you visited while on vacation. You then decided to steal the right to investigate from the local law enforcement and took over the case. After several more homicides, okay. you managed to apprehend the perpetrator. Yes. After several yes. more people died. Yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> we stole the right to investigate from them, just as you said. It all started when the body of a 16-year-old girl was discovered. You arrived in Lucare in immediately after that, ice. didn't you? <laughs> we just can't seem to keep ourselves away from dead girls. Did you really visit that town just to take a vacation? Did you do it? <laughs> we don't know. If you already have the report, then we suggest you read it, Bell. Either way, that case like the is closed. On the table. Closed. You sure about that? Don't you think this puzzle is still okay, missing some crucial pieces? <laughs> Come on. No need to beat around the bush with us, Bell. They found Lee Clarkson's body. <laughs> it was 16. hidden deep within the Clarkson Food Delivery Services cold storage warehouse. After 14 so years, we finally discovered the body of the very first victim. Do you know what this means? That's why we're here. The first victim in the case he solved, Lee Clarkson. This is a photograph of what she looks like now. How will he react when he sees it? Dead vacant eye is like everything. The body that went missing for 14 years was suddenly discovered frozen in a... This is some kind of message. I'm not going to use the vision. We're pleased just, yeah, I that her body turned up. I don't up. think you would do anything. Deeply Shame I can't use it in the cutscene. You claim to have closed this case. 
but now a lost body suddenly surfaced. Aren't you curious about the details? Body or not, we already solved that case. Lisa's body can't change anything now. True. And it certainly has nothing to do with us. I suspect the body was stored there rather than abandoned, due to the unnatural state it was found in. Yeah, because it's frozen and in pieces. She was found frozen in a storage unit. Therefore, she looks exactly the same as she did when she disappeared. In fact, she's in such so good condition that we can even determine the murder weapon and cause of death. <laughs> Is it that all her limbs were detached? Well... Good for you. Even stranger is how unbelievably beautiful she looks. At first glance, few would guess she was a murder victim at all. Other than the fact that all of her limbs are detached. She looks more like mm. a piece of art. <laughs> or a mythological figure from a painting. This keeps getting better and better. Better and better? Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> a corpse as beautiful as a goddess. Sounds just like our story. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. That went okay. Now I'm sure that Morgan's hiding something. I may be able to get what I want if we go deeper into the documents. You may be wondering why we decided to unearth all these old files. Everything happens for a reason. There's nothing going on there. The Inside moment Lee Clarkson's nothing. body was found, we did the best we could to start our own local investigation. But there wasn't much we could actually investigate due to the damage caused by the hurricane. Then we assume you also questioned everyone who worked in the warehouse. Of course. Of course. We questioned all the Clarkson Food Delivery Services Things employees who staffed the warehouse <laughs> and its owner. But we still have yet to obtain any key testimonies. Par for the course with a 14-year-old case, if you ask me. Mm. Not to mention how bad the timing was. Most of the employees were on vacation. So, you gave up on the investigation and came to see us instead. You're the expert on the case, right? The <laughs> case is similar to this, apparently, you would see. Remember what happened, my fairy? That warehouse. That man. So incoherent. Such a pain. <laughs> hey, are you talking about the guy who managed the vault where Lisa's body was found? Yeah, I think he started working there in 2005. Remember, Aaliyah? You said he was a pain to deal with, too. If it was 14 years. <laughs> the large man, yes. No need to answer, if you don't want to. I'm sure you've already put him under surveillance. Textbook FBI protocol. Who is it? This my fairy character you keep speaking to. You can't see her? Such bad manners. You barge into our apartment, yet you don't even care about who else is living here. Dissociative Identity Disorder. In the past, it was known as Multiple Personality Disorder. Oh gee, I had multiple personalities. You were subjected to an internal probe only once during your career, correct? They suspected that you had DID, but you denied it and no problems arose during your test. Is this how you dealt with the psychological profiler back then, too? Saying strange things, weaving unrelated matters together, is that how you slipped through? 
You're free to draw your own conclusions, Belle. Well, I mean, if he was doing that... But my fairy clearly exists. She's been sitting right there on your lap this entire time. And that's my control. <laughs> hey, stop it. No violence allowed in here, Belle. Wouldn't want to scare Why my fairy. Why did no, would we? If he didn't believe it was real, why would he react? You know, why would he be shocked and go, ah, something sat on my lap? Isn't there someone else you should have talked because to? I just see her badge on her lap. Not before coming to us. Such as... We were unable to reach Patricia Clarkson. You look surprised. I thought you already knew. After She's all, dead. you visited Louisiana last week. We assumed you met with her during your time there. We haven't been to Louisiana. Not in 14 years. Is that so? We've been right here in our apartment this entire time. That man is our witness, aren't you, Simon? <laughs> He's right. Mm, he could be lying. He didn't to even you. take a single step outside on Christmas Eve. It feeds things. Which means that I didn't get to either. You. Are you positive about that? I took the liberty of checking some airline records. Last Friday, the name Billy Bishop was listed on a morning flight out of Boston. This is the fake name you used to use as an agent, isn't it? <laughs> a mere coincidence. Yet that's not all. That evening on the same day, a man with a large scar on his forehead allegedly purchased an 89 Cadillac from a small used scar. car lot in Lucare. He reportedly said he wanted something old, big, and strong. The owner of the car lot felt it was a strange order, so it stuck in his mind. Our world is filled with mysteries, and they always have the most bizarre timing. True. <laughs> this is how the world is. <laughs> I can realize Incidentally, the timing for everything. On the following day, an identical Cadillac was taken to a scrapyard in Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey. Oh, you broke it already. You can find <laughs> that type of car anywhere. Isn't that right, my fairy? <laughs> I'm blaming your fairy. Morgan's right. Everything happens for a reason. Even this Even messy room. Here. There must be a reason for it. He's dying. The reason. Especially when it care. comes to those strangely tidy spots. They're practically begging me to question them. Okay, the tiny spots. Now that's a good point. Pile of DVDs. Another. There's a clean spot. Why can't I look around the room anymore? I mean, yeah, you're highlighting the clean spot. But that says another. So, I, I can see the one that's on the floor directly in front of her. Stage 4 progress. How do humans be- What if that human is also a high fun- I kind of wanted this question directly on himself. Mr. Morgan. I could just be changed in the things up. That's a Dorito big giant triangle. Shape. I found several spots in this room that look strangely clean. Did you tidy up a bit because you knew we were coming? Something did. Those so are sanctuaries. There as well. I need another triangle. They've well. existed from the start. Sanctuaries. That's right. Safe points. Sacred places. Hovels for pure souls, if you will. Were there originally objects in those hovels? Something you didn't want us to see. The souls still there. We haven't touched a thing. But we know you can't see anything. Hey, Simon. Don't touch the, the sanctuary. <laughs> Uh, s sorry. 
Why not? <coughs> That's a sanctuary. Don't ever touch it again. You've been watching us for four and a half years, and you couldn't even figure that much out? Uh, my bad. It's my first time actually coming inside, you know. <laughs> well, then, how can You're you earn an far alibi more than for you deserve? You don't know that he was definitely what in What were here. you doing all day in that black suburban? We thought wiretapping was your specialty. Don't tell me. Crossword puzzles. What do you think, my fairy? Four and a half years. All that time. That's in the car. That's... What does he have to show for it? <laughs> Crossword puzzles. Like no clearly... way. He's clearly not a very good officer. They just put him on like assignment to sit in the car. Out Come of on! The way. I thought you knew. <laughs> I'm a Sudoku guy. Drawing. Agent Jones. Tripods. Like the triangle spots. Oh, right. But I mean, it's been four and a half years on assignment just sitting outside this guy's, guy's house, just watching him. Doing nothing else. That's. Like, he's a completely very, very taking control of the conversation. Clearly he's not doing anything else. At this rate, we'll never get anywhere. I need to press him some more. And now we have to Agent talk to John, Simon. the briefcase isn't even that big. How long does he intend to keep that up? Does he have pizza menus stuffed inside there or something? He's doing a Sudoku, clearly. <laughs> Agent Jones? Did you find the files? Can't be that hard to find. <laughs> Greenvale. Agent Francis said Morgan. Mr. Morgan, do you recognize these files? Okay, we're in a cutscene. <laughs> Trips up and Whoa! We took the sanctuary. He's dead Ow! now. We told you. That's a sanctuary. <clears throat> Let him go! Assaulting an FBI agent is an obstruction we told of you. justice. We told you. Go! No! Ah, stay back! Stay back! Sanctuary! Die! Stay back! Well, that ah, ah, ah. He doesn't like blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's not going to study anymore. Mr. Morgan? Uh. Also, there are empty blood bags on his thing. I cut my finger with that can opener this morning. I thought I stopped the bleeding, but it seeped through. True blood. How could I be so stupid? Bloods. How do you cut your finger on a can opener? Like, the, the Everything should be fine now. Lid, maybe, but how do you cut it on the can opener itself? I'm sorry for being so careless. I made sure to read through your file and learn about your condition. The color red. Such an unusual thing to fear. Please, accept my deepest apologies. I, I'm sorry too, Morgan. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll never touch one of your sanctuaries ever again. And no more red, either. <laughs> He's got blood bags. Don't Clearly, yes. ever true blood consumer. Touch one again. I, I told them not to. Why would they do that? Make them go he away. He fell. He was just saving himself. Don't touch. Stay away. Now, may we return to our discussion? Oh, don't worry. I won't let them touch me again. I'm going to touch the sanctuary. Strangely enough, this man has a fear of the color red. And I believe that fear is connected to the Greenville case. I'm sure I've seen some red stuff in his oven. 
another strangely clean spot. So these heavy duty. Soon after Agent Jones started monitoring him, he was ordered to go through Morgan's trash. Emos! But he nice. didn't find anything. Morgan used this machine to cut up everything, from his mail to his supermarket receipts. Then he even went as far as taking out his trash in parts. Mm, I mean, he really should have set fire to it after. I'm not going to touch the sanctuary. Just there's reds on the seal, on the letter, on the desk. It's red stamp. Wax. This is a very large shredder. Red is there something the you don't want people finding morning. out about? Hmm. Good question. But we never know when some curious civil servants may come and sift through our trash now, do we? He should have set fire to it after. <laughs> you know, it. That would have made more sense. He's got a fireplace right there. You're already retired. Then they can't what are you so worried about? Assembly, can they? <laughs> From back when we were still on duty. Didn't they bang that into your head when you were up in Quantico? Some <laughs> habits are hard to break. No matter so how hard you try. To start the next line. But it also went there. Okay. Okay, Demos! Right, I'm gonna ask him about it. Here's another empty space. What does the word sanctuary really mean to him? Hovels for pure souls. Could you tell me what exactly the word sanctuary means to you? He says sanctuary. Sanctuaries are sanctuaries. Nothing more, and nothing less. <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. Why no, do you wish to know? Just curious. Bell. Why do you keep calling her Bell? That's not her name. You're a much ruder person than you initially seem to be. Don't you agree, my fairy? What do our sanctuaries have to do with the investigation? If you're out of questions, then how about just going home? Hey, mind if I jump in here? So what's with the tire? What is it, Simon? We hope you've got a real question for us. Eating objection. Well, actually, I'm also a little curious myself. No one's supposed to touch any sanctuary, right? That's what we said. What about you, though? You can't even touch them yourself? Are there any extenuating circumstances? What are you getting at? I mean, I doubt if any of this really matters, but... If no one can touch the sanctuaries, then... And who cleans them? How do you clean them? They clean themselves. They just don't want to stay clean. Didn't answer, did he? The files on the serial killings that shocked Washington State in 2010. Officially titled the Greenvale case. I never thought I'd take out files from a case I first heard about on the news. Didn't answer. Mr. Morgan, I'd like to ask you some questions about this case now. We don't want to remember that town. I'm sorry, but there's no way around this. I remember hearing about this case on the news when I was still a student. A high school girl named Anna Graham was murdered and the FBI stepped in to take over the case. I also remember it becoming a sprawled investigation due to evidence found in the victim's throat. Is that correct? After that case, you went on sick leave for two years. And when you returned, you requested to be switched over to desk work. Well. What happened? That's a private matter. None of your business, Bill. Were you traumatized? Hmm. It's a common problem with prolific agents such as yourself. But there's another possibility that may make more sense. Perhaps... But he did it. You simply finished making preparations.
What are you getting at? It could be either answer. Thinking too much about something will always turn it into a problem. The Greenvale case. Don't you think it resembles the Luke Carre case? Read the report. We have nothing else to say. I just need one more push. One more thing that can summon up the past. A jar of honey with honeycomb inside it. There's nothing strange about it, but it still gives me a weird feeling. Looks like another old antique. He collects milk cartons, but treats valuable antiques like trash. What's going on in his head? He doesn't seem to collect them. He's just like duct tape them all together in a box. Probably around something. That's royal jelly. Huh? You were staring at the jar, weren't you? Do you find it strange that there's honeycomb inside? We wanted to harvest royal jelly in its most natural state. Why? The queen's <laughs> main food source, created from the worker bee's secretions. It's a perfect food, filled with power, meant to fuel the birth of the next queen. By absorbing it into our own bodies, we, too, can acquire that power. Incidentally, did you know that all okay. the worker bees are female? No. Guess they didn't teach you that at Quantico. Male bees are only born to inseminate, and they're born from unfertilized eggs to boot. They have short lives and don't even get stingers. Sort of feels like... A glimpse into the future of our society, wouldn't you agree? Or were they ready to impregnate and women do everything? Women are gifted with the power to conceive, <laughs> give birth and nourish their children. But men, men are consumed with the job of providing women with the chance to do so. If women no longer had to rely on men for the seeds of life, they would soon cease to desire them, we believe. I mean, there's gay and bisexual all over the world, but I don't think that's why. Because, <laughs> like, you know, they don't need... Be careful, <laughs> Simon. <laughs> like, there's artificial in some... Huh? Of so. what? Your bell's already stolen the reins from you. <laughs> he wants to take charge of the conversation. Just because I would take charge. Don't, you know, judge. <laughs> The silver clock in that trash pile. Is that an H5? That's right. John the Harrison's Ransom fifth chronometer. Impressive. Completed in 1770. After many years, he completed it and presented it to the Board of Longitude in order to end their feud with him. That's only a replica, of course. Of course, why would you have to... You like them? clocks. Clocks are amazing. Prime fruit of the human race's intellect, we took the invisible idea of time and manifested it in these. Yeah, I love clocks too. Absolutely fascinating. I disagree. Oh? Why? Time is valuable precisely because it can't be seen. Yet nowadays people can't tell what time it is unless it's measured in numbers. Talk about idiocy. I don't mean to side with the Board of Longitude, but remember, humans used to cross oceans with the stars alone. And time is, like, subjective depending on how much fun you have on it. Because it can feel quick and slow and, you know, it's more fluid. We have our eyes to read moon charts and study the sky. We don't need clocks. What if it's cloudy or storming? All you need is courage and a love for adventure. <laughs> Hear that, my fairy? Courage and a love for adventure? <laughs> Come on, Belle. 
Surely you know how many lives have been claimed by your pal's courage and adventure. <sighs> hey, hey, hold on a second here. He doesn't collect Reginald cartons because they're all duct taped together. Like, you wouldn't ruin something you collect like that. That board it's of like... longitude thing. <laughs> what the heck is that? You know, that would rip the milk cartons apart. I mean, I've heard of it before. I'm an sure FBI you know. analyst, remember? I just sort of it sound can't remember it <laughs> right now. I know what it is, really. Mm. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, copium. <sighs> Come on, Aaliyah, back me up here. Aaliyah? You don't sound convincing at all, mate. <laughs> Totally, yeah, no, totally, yeah, no, A picture exactly of a leaf. Talking about. This isn't just a picture of any leaf. A red leaf. It's the most important leaf. The belief in truth begins with the doubt of all truths in which one has previously believed. It's time to get down to business. Mr. Morgan, please look at this. What did we just the, say? Was in the cutscene we can... Loads. We don't want to remember Greenvale. This well, isn't a photo Vail. from Greenvale. Look closely at it. Former Special Agent Francis Zack Morgan. A red leaf. This photograph predates Greenvale. Nuts. It's from the Lucare case you worked on in 2005. Red. Red tree. Red tree. Yes. Red rum. A red tree. Greenvale wasn't the first place you saw one of these. The Greenvale case and the Lease Clarkson murder case, they're connected by these red trees, aren't they? Red trees. Both places growing. Roots. Seeds. Uncle. Trees. What? <laughs> Answer me. I got a delay. What on. are these trees? I've have an idea. And I've only just realized. Red trees. Red I want the truth. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> The red trees. You really did your homework. Well done, Belle. You're good. Damn good. Mm. Are you ready to talk now? I want to know what went down in Lucare in 2005. <sighs> Fine. We'll tell you. We'll tell you what happened in that town. Yes. It was that red tree. That red tree ruined my life. No bottles. It was. <sighs> Beginning. It was a sultry summer day. The sun comes down hard on you in the south like a torrential downpour of demonic whispers. It all started back in that sweltering summer. We still had our best friend with us back then. The other me. <laughs> My better half. Other me? Your other personality? Uh, is that why you passed the test? Because that personality died. And then you were only one, but now you've got the fairy person. So now you have other multiple At least. Multiple red. The tree doesn't look that red other than the leaves that fly upwards. I mean, that's concerning. Because <laughs> they're defying gravity. You are not. By gravity. <clears throat> Leaves that go up. 
Obviously, it's loading at the moment, so. <laughs> but now we get into the actual game. We can actually move out <laughs> and do things. And I guess we're going to be him. Um, the younger him. We can decide what the fate is. Both guilty. The leaves fall Zach. down. And this York Morgan. He's got a personality for each letter of the alphabet. Zed's the laugh. Zack. Can you hear me, Zack? When he was a baby, he was found as Aaron Morgan, don't you know? <laughs> There you are, Zach. <laughs> Sleeping again? Well, rise and shine. It's time for us to head back out into the chaos. To the gals! Well, the leaves are all over the place. Definitely chaos. I guess it's a very windy day. Isn't that oh, right, Zack? Because they're going up and down. Single leaf. Land on our foreheads. Wake up. Deadly. Premonition. Two. He's in a uh, die. A blessing in disguise. No, oh, no. <laughs> but the sanctuaries are going to be something we're going to learn about, I guess, in the game. <laughs> Throughout the game in this area. Right. <laughs> figure out what they are. But her powers of, um, honestly. Go, Louisiana! I know it's saying Lucare. More like Lucar. Okay. Like the ends of a tiny umbrella. Some fancy seafood dinner. Zach, it looks like she wants us to join her for breakfast. Perhaps this town's finally starting to warm up to us. I do have multiple personalities. Quite clear. Talking to you through your cup of tea. Francis York, Morg. Look at that, Zach. She's welcoming us with open arms. She's even willing to share that tasty morsel with us. What an honor. Hurry tasty up and chow down, mister. Of an umbrella. Unless yes. you like your breakfast stale. He's already easing a What an amazing place. Pancake, I've been on top of the moon since the moment I got here. Porridge, giant and the name pineapple. of this wonderful town, Le Carre, actually some sort of omelet. sounds like French to me. Giant but what does it mean? Bread thing. I don't think it's I'm the chef. Breakfast is going cold also waste. If you want to know about the town, you'd better ask the concierge. Only amateur chefs flap their gums about stuff that ain't food related. David Joanna. Yes. Did you hear that, Zach? He's a true professional. He's talking to us on the phone. You say something, He's... mister? Uh, no, not to you. I was just talking Maybe to Zach. Maybe they're twins. Maybe he's not. Zach? Please don't ask me about Zack, it's a private matter. <laughs> if you say so, still. Never thought the FBI would ever come out to a little old town like ours. I do work for the FBI, but I didn't come here for an investigation. I just happened to stop by on my way to New Orleans. <sighs> Never thought there'd be a murder out here either. And it was a 16-year-old kid. Not tell you, this country seen better days. What you reckon, mister? Zach, he's definitely a professional, but it seems like he's also a bit lonesome. That's good. Ambivalence exists everywhere. That's a right in front of his face. Oh my god, that is Folks so say the killer used an axe 
Hell of an old Ooh, fashioned choice if you your... ask me. Wall. And also three guns, but I did see the axes. Actually, Chef David, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. But shoot, I ain't the one y'all to be asking Mr. FBI. I only heard what I heard. But seeing as you're fixing to grill me, I can tell you what I know. Please do. I appreciate well, the rest of your guests. It's a very empty hotel and you're cooking personally breakfast just for me. Is the local law enforcement investigating the case? <laughs> Shoot, mister, what you think? Now, I told you this ain't no city. We in the bonafide boondocks here. They got to know how to break up fights and keep folks from killing each other when they piss jaw. They sit down and talk it out with you heart to heart. And when that don't work, they just beat your ass. That's the deep south for you. This murder ain't like that, though. A little kid got killed. A weird way. Like something on a TV show. The sheriff's department ain't never seen nothing okay. like this. Live and Let Die, Angel Heart, and The Pelican Brief, right? Nine out of ten people will name those titles when you ask them to think of a film set in New Orleans. That's They're all excellent movies, these. but to me they lack realism. That's Due to my line of work, I have a tendency to think deeply about what feels real and what doesn't. What's your point? Cat people. Cat people, you say? <laughs> That's my point. Cat people. 1982, directed by Paul Schrader, the crowning achievement of Nastasia Kinski, the ultimate muse of the 80s. The most vital element of that movie is the reality it depicts. Leopards who turn into humans have intercourse with humans and turn back into leopards. Then they can only turn back into humans again if they mutilate their lovers. I was awestruck by the sheer reality of it all. Understand? I'm talking about <laughs> Hyperrealism. Yeah, no, it's so real that um, the cat people that are murdering. After watching it, I felt like I just had to experience again. the world of cat people for myself. That's why I decided to visit New Orleans. Uh, okay. Another vital element of cat people is the presence of Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell from Blue Thunder. Oh, talk about a masterpiece. Listen carefully, David. Only an amateur would call a Clockwork Orange his best movie. His best movies are Cat People and Blue Thunder. Well, I've Period. already seen it clockwork. You need to remember this, because it's the truth. Mm, whatever you say, mister. So, uh, what's your point again? They're all old movies. <laughs> Never mind, don't worry about it. So, because there was on TV reasons. I already covered all the important That's parts. Oh, it's a controversial movie that was banned. Now it's unbanned. The only reason I watched it wasn't that good, to be fair. <laughs> um, when you say it was like something from a TV show, what exactly do you mean? Hey, mister, why do you look so excited, huh? Like a kid asking grandma to read him a fairy tale. I just can't seem to keep myself away from young women who died in bizarre ways. Oh. Well, I ain't seen it with my own eyes. But folks say they found the body hanging under a bridge on the bayou. And under that bridge, there was some kind of altar. An altar? Like something they use in black magic. Sanctuary. Something horrible. Voodoo? Nah. Wasn't nothing like that. Just a weird uh, altar. I wonder if the sanctuaries are where the girls died. Is keeping That's all? Soul. Oh, and... The body was all cut up in pieces, scattered around the altar like. So she was sacrificed. That's what the fella who discovered her said, yeah. Bingo, Zack. We could easily find the furniture from these. This case has got our names back. all over it. By the way, Mr. FBI, I ain't seen a car in the parking lot. How'd you get all the way out here, huh? Don't tell me you walked. Well, that's a very good question. Chef David, you've got a sharp eye. 
It's true that I didn't park my car in your parking lot. Do you know why? Can't say I do. Because it was stolen. Huh? But you with the FBI, right? Even FBI cars can be stolen. It could happen after you park your car on the yeah, side of the road and go off to do some legwork. It's all going cold now. <laughs> he hasn't touched When you're eating lunch, when you're watching a movie, when you're asleep at night, when you're buying cigarettes at the local supermarket, your car can be stolen anyway, anywhere. So car That's precisely what it means to be an FBI agent. In my case, my car was stolen while I was on my way down here. But no need to worry. I already reported it to the local authorities. And I've also already acquired another mode of transportation. Another mode? Want to hear the details? Not really. But I'll listen if you want me to. Then please do. After I finished my work in Houston, I flew to New Orleans. Then, I rented a car at the airport. Whenever I visit the West Coast, I always I rent, rent a convertible. A car. Especially yeah. in California. But now I'm in hot and sticky Louisiana. So, I decided on a brand new hybrid car with a fully equipped air conditioning system. A hybrid car? Oh yes, they're marvelous. Vehicles that utterly defy everything you think you know about cars. Now, in the year 2005, it feels like hybrids. we finally <laughs> entered the 21st century. Or electric. Stomp down from. on the gas all you want. The engine won't make a sound. It's silent? At first, I felt like the landscape was moving past me on its own. Give it a few more years, and I'm sure we'll start seeing cars that run boomer. purely on electricity. We do already. Who knows? <laughs> In a decade or so, electric sports cars may end up lining the parking lots of Silicon Valley. I mean, it's been banned in this country to use purely petrol cars now. I think they, I don't know if they have to be entirely electric or if they be a beast. But I think all new cars, I think they have to be electric I can see now. it now. It's the world of the last Starfighter. 1984, directed by Nick Castle. <laughs> it's famous for being the first film to utilize realistic CG, but I couldn't care less about that. Was it? I didn't see, know. I was mesmerized by the beautifully refined mech designs. There were mechs in that movie? I thought there were flying spaceships and that's about it. And I don't know if they were CGI, I thought they were model, like, you know, old-fashioned movies. But it even made me wish that, that I could be one of them myself. Especially the Gunstar spacecraft. No other sci-fi movie has ever had... So, uh, yeah, where'd your hybrid car get stolen? Sorry, I got off topic. I noticed it was missing mm -hmm. after I finished my lunch and walked out of the diner. Incidentally, this diner was located at the entrance yeah, to a small town just though. south off the I-10. <laughs> I went out to get back in it, but my hybrid car was nowhere to be found. You wouldn't have heard it getting stolen. I remembered it it exactly where I parked it, right between a blue pickup truck and a hedgerow. But when I came back from lunch, it had completely vanished. In short, someone stole it, truck. and in its place, they left me this. There's not a short. What? A skateboard. Sounds nicer than to leave you. Skateboard. A skateboard? Yes. While I was sliding my lunch into my stomach. Oh, you stole. Someone was busy replacing else. my brand new hybrid car with a wooden board attached to four wheels. Remarkable, don't you Very think? Cool. So then how did you get here? By riding the skateboard, obviously. Why do you look so surprised? No, I couldn't ride the board very well at first. But by the time I hit the three-mile mark, I'd more or less gotten the hang of it. By the ten-mile mark, I'd even learned to do a few tricks. It was a journey of self-discovery. Not even I knew I had this latent talent sleeping inside me. You said the victim was a 16-year-old. Did you know her? Well, sure. I reckon the whole town did. Meaning? She's Lise Clarkson, the little grandbaby of the Clarkson family. The Clarkson family? Yeah, That's Clarkson. right. You ain't seen they sign on your way in here? The one above that huge coal storage complex. Should have had a dragonfly on it. Anyway, that's the Clarkson family seal. 
they own most of the land around here. From the sugar the plantations right, the, right down the, to the food um, processing the plant. That they were talking about in the other thing. Yeah, I reckon they got a stake in just about everything. They even own the water tower on the edge of town, you know. They're the ones who built up this town, and they still support it. What do you know about the Clarkson's house? Be interested enough to ask the Clark, where was the Clarkson's house? Now, <laughs> I ain't got <laughs> nothing right. bad to say. But I'm going to talk straight to you. You best steer clear of that place. That family ain't just some gang. They're a whole different kind of beast. Gang they beast. folks with real power. Remnants of the good old boys who shaped America in the early days. Especially the America. head of the family, P.J. Clarkson. He's the kind of monster who goes around eating other monsters. And I'm sure he's on edge now with his granddaughter getting murdered and all. So don't go barging in with that shiny FBI badge of yours and think you'll be safe for nothing. Things are different down here. So if you plan on sticking around, you best remember that. I see. I'll keep that in mind. Remember. Remember that. This, this summer's going to be another hot one. It's supposed to get over 95 today. Watch out you don't go getting heat stroke. The least Clarkson case needs us. Yes, it does. Don't you think so, Zach? The, the cat people are what guided us to New Orleans. <laughs> the cat people are guiding us. <laughs> we should be thanking Malcolm McDowell. Once we get home, let's watch Blue Thunder again. I'm already looking forward to it. Aren't you, Zach? Zach. The, the searing the light. Mmm, <laughs> these scents. It's the deep south. Mm, that was a fabulous breakfast. You're the world's greatest the chef. <laughs> what are those pencil things, though? Uh, wait, mister. You they didn't take a single that. bite. Well, the tea was to die for, but I'd prefer coffee next time. What would a morning be without this coffee? This is amazing! I didn't touch anything and I don't, don't really like tea. I prefer coffee, but it was the best breakfast I ever had. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the, the, the taste of the Deep South, irreplaceable. You haven't tasted it, sir. No, but it, looking at it was enough. But I want coffee. <laughs> I don't. You should have eaten it. That's very rude. Like that lobster must have been expensive. This is a whole lobster, a giant ass omelet, a giant dumpling, like Japanese dumpling, two things I can't identify, a gigantic pineapple, and a bowl of porridge. And you didn't even touch the porridge. It's going to be hard. In such a single thing. But, you know, you should have had some of the omelette. You should have had some of the lobster. You should have had a nibble of everything. Casa mm. pineapple. Press something. Get out of the um, bed clothes that you are eating. There are other people in here. Wow, that's a gigantic pork pie. That is the world's biggest pork pie. Probably like a steak bake, actually. Um, those vegetable pies? Vegetable muffins? Can't talk to the shaved head guy. Plates. Um, some deep south gumbo. Some spicier looking muscle thing, some bread. Or is it just like a giant bread? <laughs> Lots of different types of giant breads. A gigantic, dry looking cooked turkey. Some amorphous pork and lettuce. Sometimes with a bit of sauce. 
some long sausages, some chicken wings, and weird looking thighs. <laughs> Those thighs look more like battered staplers. Sure, they're, they're definitely chicken thighs, not battered staplers. Axes and things on the wall. Pizza! And chocolates. Squares, marshmallows. I don't know what those are, but I'm guessing they're also mortars. And then more of the same stew. And he clearly made us that lobster, an omelette, and porridge, and pineapple custom, because it's not on the buffet for everyone. He made that purely for us, and we completely. Unappreciative. Return to the Yorkshire. We were complete this way, guys, way to be said. Completely unappreciative of the custom cooked food. Completely. That is so dramatic. <laughs> Two o three. Yeah. Again, I'm streaming from the same gaming PC, so I think that's actually causing some right now. Okay, <laughs> we can punch and kick things. Okay, we got three hundred HP, and then we got some strength. Okay, um, six hundred dollars, lead thirty something. He wanted coffee! Coffee with milk in a cup. Mildly restores concentration and alleviates stress. Cup greatly restores. Why is the black coffee more expensive than the milk coffee? And why does it give more when, you know, it'd be the same, right? Cedro de Can restores a good deal of concentration and alleviates stress. A good deal. That's um, mildly. A good deal sounds like more than mildly, and it is cheaper. Not an alcoholic beer. It stores a good deal of conversation and alleviates drowsiness. I'm gonna buy the coke. I mean, the root beer is kind of the same thing, but a bit more expensive. One dollar for it. We don't really need to. Twelve. Okay, so we've got twelve things in our bag. Is what that's saying. <laughs> I can resist, you know. Okay, so we can crouch. Luke Goblin is now looking everywhere for loops. The mirror's actually really well done. I wonder if that's um, the low-res original version of the game. Because <laughs> that would be really clever if, like, you know, this is how the game was originally done. Oh, it is clean in progress. I was going to say, is that off access in the mirror, but it isn't in reality? So we can't go downstairs yet, even though there are people down there. Not allowed. We need to go to our room, 203. Another vending machine. It's a oh. <laughs> hey Deja Mu, how's it going? A hundred dollars for punching a guy in the face! <laughs> I didn't expect that. Hopefully you're having a good day. A hundred dollar fine. Don't have that much money. I wonder what happens if we just run out of money right at the start of the game. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you could punch someone in the face. Nope, you pay him $100 to apologise. <laughs> Son Rouge. We've been chasing it all over America. He doesn't like red in the future. He's got red now. Okay. But I feel like we're finally on the verge of finding something now. Don't you, Zach? 
I think it's about time we ordered Although a new briefcase. Although he's not actually Zack at the moment. Yes, I know this one carries a lot of memories, like but well. it's seen too much. This hole's from the shootout in Tucson. And this stains from Miami. Ah, Miami. Now that was a fascinating case. Billy, our perp, cut his own torso right in two. Even with the help of well, the drugs, a feat like that <laughs> still requires incredible mental fortitude. Yeah, I was so impressed that I half. forgot I'd left my briefcase on the floor. Same floor his blood gushed out onto. Before he died because he was an idiot for chopping himself in half. <laughs> I know, Zach, I know. Now isn't the time for I a mean, trip down memory lane. he had to pay 100 pounds for excessive force. <laughs> An emergent drug that's been on the rise in four southern states. Personally, I think it originated right here in Louisiana. And Lee Clarkson's murder must be connected to that's it somehow. Nice brief. It's, a, it's got holes in it. It's blood stained. It's a nice briefcase. <laughs> Looks really disheveled and skanky. But yeah. Uh, Lee Clarkson murder. Let's deep combine two. The 16-year-old girl who was murdered. She was chopped Her body was found beneath a bridge over the bayou, along with a strange altar. The powerful man who essentially controls the town of Lucare. And he seems to be more fearsome than your average gangster. I doubt he'll be willing to cooperate with any law enforcement, Zack. You know, I keep thinking about that movie we stopped to see on our way here, Zach. The Island, 2005, directed by Michael Bay. For a movie being shown at a cinema complex, it was surprisingly artistic. An experimental setting mixed with hard-hitting drama. It was art house sci-fi. That movie, director's Bob. going to change the history of <laughs> art house films. Are you following me here? Mm, Michael Bay, yeah. He's totally arty, isn't he? Uh, more guys than my desk, true. <laughs> but he's pinning things to the wall. This is another <laughs> special hotel. film that's setting a new standard, just like Star Wars and Blade Runner did. No, the island did This is a turning stuff. point, Zach. You may be witnessing the it's birth of a the, vital the new word that will soon become right. a part of film history. Michael Bay yes, this single that. movie may be responsible for creating a whole new genre several years down the line. A genre known as is. island movies. I sure like the sound of that. Don't you, Zach? <laughs> uh, no, there's no such genre as island movies. And from the door, he who knocks, I the one. So we've got the link box. It's a wall. Where's this briefcase? Use phones to save progress. Save nothing will help. I hate that A is cancel. Because <laughs> in every other game it's not. Ah, there's one. The toolbox! You can use the toolbox to store items, but it's clearly a briefcase. <laughs> you can only store items on your personal one, so you'll need to utilize the toolbox a little later. You can only use it when you're standing near one. Rubber bullets! Ah, so we've got stuff in the toolbox. Right, so, rubber bullets. Why have I got... Why am I carrying so many rubber bullets? Let's say it again. Put the rubber bullets away, put the rubber bullets away. We don't need hundreds of them on the time, right? First aid kit, I don't need so many first aid kits. We already had a can of coke. Um, cigarettes. Hard to find cigarettes. Split past the time. Yeah, I'll keep the lollipops. Coffee and milk. Coffee. Bye. Middle cigarettes. 
Why have we got two different kinds of cigarettes? Um, loaded with butter fills your stomach tank. Let's take a cookie, a sleeping bag, <laughs> and denum. Extremely bitter, but very powerful. I'm gonna take that. We, we're an FBI agent, we might get paralyzed. Do you have a nerf? Why do you need rob? Exactly. It's, um, I guess we <laughs> can't be lethal. We couldn't punch the guy in the face because they fall, they, um, they find us for that. So I guess um, for the same reason, they're probably- I'm very satisfied with the decorations and the size of this closet, Zach. But you know, we have, it is a Nerf gun, isn't it? Oh my God. But no, um, And it's even got like, a security box. Use, well, what like, else could a man ask things. for? It's proof that we're but still safely inside the fringes enough, of modern civilization. Pistol. And normally it's in special circumstances. Um, use the clothes to change clothes. Or well, send your clothes off for dry cleaning. They'll become dirty to clean your clothes. Okay, we have to actually clean our clothes. Slipped on after five. Good as new. Well, I mean, I guess we'll keep the suit on for now. We've got two suits. Well, this is clearly an altar. This is a weird thing to find in your hotel. The many armed gods with many faces. And some sort of board in its chest that you stab knives into to mark the date or something. The gun is probably <laughs> true. If you shoot them with the gun, it's probably a thousand dollar fine. I would not be surprised if he's done that a thousand dollars right now. But Shooting them with a rubber bullet in the eye, like that's got to be a bigger fine than punching them in the face. Okay, that doesn't aim the gun, that just looks... And I wasted some of his vision. Sorry, we don't need it. <laughs> Clean shaven. Pantic Due to the nature of our work, shower. we've had to stay at hotels all over America. As a but Zach, do you know what shower. I hate most about living out of a hotel? The lack of a bath. Even shower a pressure. Bath right there. The shower was invented so that human beings could quickly bathe in large quantities of water, correct? Yet there are far too many hotels in our nation that have showers with embarrassingly weak water pressure. This guy's a fountain of knowledge. <laughs> it's an outrage. And I'll keep tooting it's my horn about this too. every chance I get, believe you me. He seems a little bit autistic. <laughs> For a fruit gun, it's probably a thousand dollar fight. Okay, it wouldn't let me shoot the gun. Ironically, we've got rubber bullets, but we don't actually have a gun, it seems. Which is the weirdest part of all. <laughs> no gun, but only bullets. Maybe I just throw the bullets at him. The chef? Hey there, chef. What's cooking? Chef. He's not in his chef's lab. What yet. are you talking about, sir? I'm the concierge, You're clearly the David. Chef. Well, the chef I just heard David from our Zuara. chef that you wish to learn the meaning behind our town's name. Yes, I've gathered that Lucare is French, but does it have any special meaning? Why, yes, sir. Of course it does. A very clear, logical Lucari meaning. isn't how you say it. All French names have meanings. Lucari. Would you like to know what Lucari. this one means? Um, yes, I would. Different language. Jolly good, sir. Then allow me to explain. Is it the car? Lucare <laughs> means square in French. Square. Ah. <laughs> and? <laughs> that's it. That's it? Yes, that's square. it, sir. Do you take a right. gander at the town map in the lobby if it fancies you? You'll see it's, it's a beautiful, square. valuable, and old. I'm sure you'll understand once you see it. Now, please yes. excuse me, it's sir. The town's a square. If you yes. ever need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. So the chef changes personalities as well. Did you see that, Zach? Multiple people. That was clearly David. Not a twin. But he just not said he was David. Split personality. Just the work of a true professional. It's bizarre, but I can understand it. 
Remember what they say, the job makes the man. This guy knows about split personalities because he's talking to his other personality right now. <laughs> he understands them. You actually speak French. Is the car square? <laughs> Is he correct? I got a friend, but I got this. Do you feel that, Zach? Dozens of paintings no one will ever see. The faint scent of tobacco baked into these walls for over a century. Now that's what I call a hotel. What did I miss? Zach, can you see? phone calls. His fashion Cutting sense is sad. beyond okay, me. But he appears to be a gentleman. Fashion sense. Perhaps we should talk to him. That is a funky looking gentleman. Looks more like he's wearing like Day of the Dead, but also <laughs> like very funky. Oh, we're talking to a picture now, are we? David, you insane or Zach or York or whatever you are. Nice tie. You're talking to <laughs> Did you buy it here? A painting. It's been a long time since someone spoke to me. No one these days ever tries to see me. They can see what's far in the distance, but are blind to what's in front of them. No. Maybe they're only pretending not to see. That's what Maybe civilized society them. does to people. Exactly. Ever since mankind got their hands on civilization, they zoomed away at a frightening speed. Zoomed away from what? <laughs> Him. Don't be a fool. You know the answer. As for me, just call me Hoongan. Hoongan. The title given to a leader in a certain religion. Is that what you are? Clearly. Everything's laughing at you for. <laughs> Do you comprehend the Oracle? The Oracle? Put on your religion hat, Zach. Here we go. Fell tin maidens in the shrine of hunger. Find the flying serpent in the ambiguous zero. Dance with the flying serpent, and you will glimpse the other world. Ten maidens and an ambiguous zero. Got it. But well, what do you mean by other world? Case. Follow the oracle. In the world of the deaths. And that's <laughs> Donald Trump! <laughs> Zach, did you hear all that? Looks like we've already taken our first step into chaos. Pictures are very different. But such is our duty. We need to accept the chaos, show. let it inside, then carefully dismantle it piece by piece. And after we've put all the pieces back into their rightful places, the truth will reveal itself. Let's capture the yeah, truth, truth will reveal. and present it with a shiny pair of silver bracelets, Zach. Also, that phone call made a mistake. <laughs> it's like, is this old address? No, I don't live there anymore. <laughs> they didn't ask for me. They asked for the address. And I don't live at that address. <laughs> if I wasn't doing something, I might have talked to them, but... <laughs> they Zach, didn't here's ask another me. perfect symbol they of the human address. condition. Hunting trophies. And it's a buffalo hunting trophy. Now that's a surprise. I've seen several trophies made out of human skin, but never a buffalo's. <laughs> okay, Looking at him brings out this strange feeling from within me. Trophies, sure. Yes, the very same feeling I got when watching a certain film from 1984, directed by Peter Hyams. 
You've watched a lot of 2010. 1984 movies. The last scene in that film filled me with such a sublime, majestic feeling. It was filled with everything that was missing from the finale of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Lots of Just years. talking about it makes me want to watch it again. Let's watch it once we get home. Promise, Zach. This guy is obsessed with me. Casa de Pineapple. People are just all sat on their own. Two different venues. One for food, one for drink, right? We bought some cocoa. Um, lollipop, cookies. What is that? That all. Looks like there's crisps and things in there. You're not interested in any of those? Okay. See, it's more like curry rather than liqueur. Or curry. How do they even pronounce it? Lucare? I don't think, you know, that's still, I knew French in high school. I know the reason why I'm French. It doesn't sound right to me. Because it's not Lou, that's Le. Zach, this is Lucari. Lucar. I think I'm not finally Lucari. starting to understand what our concierge <laughs> was trying to say. You can tell this town was built by a very <laughs> methodical person. No, wait. Maybe they just didn't care, and that's why it ended up this way. It's just another symbol of mankind's obsession with molding nature to fit our own rules. I don't know, because in America they make straight lines and they're all squares. And it's more like it's not following the nature of the land, and it's more fun. Whereas in this country, it's all the curvy roads that just follow the nature of the land. <laughs> Zach, what did you think of Hoongun's Oracle? Despite all the dramatic build-up, it's little more than a childish riddle. Heartwarming, really. Exactly the kind of feeling one gets from the good old-fashioned countryside. Now let's start by tracking down those ten maidens. The Oracle gave us a place and an act. We need to go to the Shrine of Hunger and fell ten maidens. Now where in this town can one satiate their hunger? The hotel and... where? and the 10 things that and need to be knocked ten down. Maidens. Simple, right? That sounds like killing The answer is bowling. Women. The shape of the bowling pin was based on the feminine form. The 10 maidens are the 10 pins. But a place okay. where someone can both eat and bowl at the same time. I'm skeptical mm, as to whether we'll be able to find such a place in a backwoods diner. town like this. Like this, you mean? So it's got a bowling pin on it, and it's the diner and bowling lane. Alexis's diner and lane. This is it, Zach. There are even pins and a bowling ball on the sign. I bet we'll be able to eat some Cajun cuisine and bowl there. Maybe even both at the same time. Nice job, Zach. I knew you'd be able to find it. Now for the what other What happens oracle. if I chose one of the other places? There's no flying serpent okay. on this map. Could it's it be a rib. contrail or perhaps a dragon? I'm sure we'll find out later. First, let's just that figure out where we need up. to go. <laughs> but you say flying, so it's probably an elevator. Do you know what the so ambiguous nice. zero represents? Zero is usually treated as a base number, but under what conditions would a base number be ambiguous? Base zero is dead. The answer is temperature, Zach. Yes. Zero degrees Fahrenheit is minus 17.7 degrees Celsius, and zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more ambiguous zero than that. The question is, does our zero refer to Celsius? The Clarkson Food Delivery Service's cold storage warehouse. That's got to be it. Even with this blazing sun in the sky, they can easily keep the temperature below freezing. Be honest now, Zach. You knew the answer from the very start, didn't you? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's just because I got bored of him talking. Okay, we got $15 back for solving the puzzle. And how about that Hoongan? What a mysterious character. His oracles may end up determining how much time we spend in this town.
Where did he shave a widow's peak into it? Sorry, boss, but this is a smoke-free hotel. Another David Luana. If you're dying of smoke, head out the entrance and you'll find a smoking area in the rear parking lot. Don't tell me. I admire your commitment you're to the our Belgian. Your service, boss. Are you guy. good friends with the concierge and the chef? Eh, we work at the same place, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't really say it's whether we're good friends with each other. We're all professionals, though. Nothing more, nothing less. I believe we've struck gold here, Zack. It just screams deep south. Actually, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This is all his it charm. It screams insane person talking so, to another insane So, if I person. want to smoke, I should go out the entrance and around <laughs> to the rear parking exactly. lot? Exactly. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. <laughs> I'll play by your rules. Very different to the other David Juarez. The other two David Juarez had completely different actors. I know things get to the diner. Hey, I'm walking here. Bada bing, bada boom. Here, cop. What is that outfit? <laughs> like, it's got a shield on it. Maybe it's just like a. Hey, your boss. How can I be of service? I think. That's all it's pretty impressive. Boy, thanks, boss. We're proud of it, isn't it? Yes, we are. Right. Speaking of which, did you happen to take a peek at the decorations in the bathroom on the first floor? Did them up myself, I'll have you know. If you haven't, then go take a look. Oh yeah, and we're really proud of how strong the water pressure is. I mean, hey, it's the same, boss. Doesn't take long to strain yourself to sweat, catch my drift. But I just complained about the shower pressure, apparently. Anyway, to make sure to set our showers, water pressure are high. I can't wait to experience. I may just have to try it out tonight. You'd think you would have tried that before, right? Is there actually anything that I can interact with with the decorations? I'm not seeing anything other than the thing that we did. There's something here. Well, it's going to be another we day. We always strive to provide oh. our guests with the <laughs> finest of service, sir. You are here our humble instance. bucolic town does have its inconveniences. Shopping in particular can be a bit of a slog. Therefore, we decided to provide a modest selection of daily necessities right here at our very own front desk. Great. Sounds convenient. convenient. Exactly. More rubber bullets. They're six dollars a pop. Uh, first aid. First aid. Cup of coffee. Cola. Things that are in the vending machines. Heavy cigarettes. Sun tan lotion. <laughs> Makes it easier to tan for a while. What? Why do we want that? Mint gum. Get rid of your B.O. Your body odor comes out of your mouth? What is wrong with you, sir? <laughs> a diesel cleaner. Clean yourself up a bit. Anti nomination. Antidotes. Um, antidotes for poison. It really wanted me to buy the anti-alcoholic. <laughs> it was so straight up. It's like, you must buy all of these. Okay. Cold be gone. Serving you is my greatest pleasure, sir. Please do let me know if there is any other way for me to assist you. Do you have any other accent? Maybe a new accent. <laughs> <coughs> Venture out! Tree. The loading tree. And I will be imitating all of the terrible acts. <laughs> when it doesn't actually read them. So, you know, I will be trying my best to do the accent. The best that I can. 
<laughs> As is the way. Where possible, where I remember, I will try. Then it doesn't have voice lines. No, a lot of the lines do seem to be voiced when you speak to them that's not necessarily on the main quest. They'll just be like, nah, you read it yourself. <laughs> Again, I am streaming from the same PC that I'm playing on right now, so maybe causing like, times to be slower than normal. There's technical problems that I'm having, but hey. Try my best. Also, backgrounds and everything will change. <laughs> Things will be improved. It's like, you know, I haven't set up everything properly yet. <clears throat> I do wonder who that is. Uh, you know, if they're asking about the address, like, that'd be that important. If it after me specifically. Come on, loading. <laughs> okay, come on. Loaded long enough now. Don't <sighs> so much you can talk about flying red leaves. Probably just Virgin Media because they wouldn't let me cancel. And now, even though they haven't supplied off to the address. They keep adding on same ridiculous monthly charges and just you know, they're being a leak because they cut off the supply because I cancelled. And even though the supply is cut off, they still want to charge the full monthly amount illegally for all services to that address. And they keep doing that month after month after month even though I cut off. I cancelled. Which is why I cancelled. And they're still trying to, well, they are still charging me, even though the services have been cancelled. I'm not living there. So, you know, if they want to try and pursue the address, well, that's fine with them. Hey, Piglets, how's it going? How's your day going? Hello, hello. I like your ever high. <laughs> it's a cool emote. A forever loading, though. <laughs> hey, hopefully you're having a good day. I'll be back doing some music at some point. I can't right now because that PC is a bit. But at some point, I will get it fixed. But it didn't really survive the move. A lot of things didn't survive the move. I've made a video. So that door. I'm still taking a while. I see. Deja Mu says hello as well. It was smoking. He likes to smoke his cigarettes. Thankfully, we didn't buy the heavy. Compared to non-smokers, smokers have a 4.7 times greater chance of getting lung disease. You're very short. <laughs> you know that means it's more likely than getting asbestos poisoning? The risk of death from lung cancer is actually much lower than what you think it is. <laughs> so... You know, In fact, it's tiny when compared to heart health. disease, strokes, and pneumonia. We're always surrounded by easy ways to die, you know. Some people even get randomly struck by lightning and die right there on the spot. Oh, they have I reckon you also head, know that secondhand smokers have <laughs> 1.3 times greater the risk compared to smokers? Of course. So you won't mind paying the damages when I die of lung disease? Oh, How no, about writing that in a contract for me? Exactly, it's all you about the pen, right? facts that we don't care about. It's just, just weird. It's all the weird facts. <laughs> Dead eyes staring at you. They'll take it. I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. Well, that's stupid. By the way, what's your name? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. 
Get That's what everyone calls me. <laughs> um, <laughs> is something wrong with you? Adults ain't supposed to act like that. I only um, asked for your name so I can write it on the contract. You should have been able to figure that out if you're a real FBI agent adult. like you said. <laughs> Come on, sign here. Right here on the paper. I thought she was just <laughs> short, not a kid. Just as I thought, adult. Zach. This contract paper, it's a San Rouge wrapper. San Rouge is here, Master too. Club? This must mean that San Rouge is connected to the Lee's Clarkson murder case somehow. This is a sprawling case that spread across the entire South. It's within our jurisdiction, Zach. We'll need to steal the right to investigate from the local authorities at once. By the way, miss, what's your name? Patricia Woods. But I gotta write my name myself, or else it won't be a real signature. Okay. Tell me, Patricia, does this town have a sheriff, or is it under the jurisdiction of the nearest city police? Perfect timing. Why are you walking up to that? Well, go like on and steal it if you want it. Oh. I was just thinking about how this is way out of my Sheriff's daddy's league. Okay. Thank you for the information, Patricia. Okay, Zach. It's time. How should we seize control from the sheriff this time? Now confused as hell. I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay, basic controls. Nothing. Ah, no. run, crouch, dodge. <laughs> I think that punched someone in the face earlier. It's also dodge. Red room. Okay. As you to enter the red room inside, you can access the journal, the inventory, the map, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Aha! So we can use our inventory, we can look at the map, we can watch TV. It's obsessed with movies. Of course, it helps if you press B rather than... Okay, he's got a stamp collection. Uh, defeats <laughs> alligators and things, so, so they're like a cheat. York's beloved right! No guns, exactly! He still doesn't have the gun, but he's got rubber bullets, but no gun! Makes sense. What would happen if I didn't go to the That's how I was doing it. Running away! <laughs> okay, let's get in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play this on the same PC as streaming it. It's being a bit too laggy. Have a telephone. Yeah, ironically, that's hey, not um, that much stamina. <laughs> yeah, you're running away from the game. My daddy's still in the parking lot. I thought you were going to steal the right to investigate from him. Hurry it up. Irritated. She's like, hey, you can't leave. You have to steal the right to investigate from this clearly empty van. This very clearly empty. Why is he in an ice cream van? Sheriff's ice cream van, except it sells crayfish and crisps. He's clearly not in the van. <laughs> to protect and sell ice cream and crayfish. That's how I still control. Look, he's behind the wheel. Well, <laughs> hey there. So, uh, you're the fella from the FBI I've been hearing so much about. I'm Melvin. They call me the sheriff around here. I don't think you're related to that girl somehow. <laughs> B.I. Special Agent Francis York Morgan? Mm. But call me York if you can. That's what everyone calls me. Huh? <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Mr. York, how's that sound? Fine by me. <laughs> I'm sure you figured this out, but our town's a small one. Yeah. Folks are already busy spreading gossip about how some FBI agents come to town. 
Now, uh, now, I reckon you came from the city. What was it? D.C., L.A., or New York? Anywho, I can't know where in the that. city, it's normal not to know who your neighbor is. Fella who moves in next to you could cook up a dozen folks in his backyard, and no one would bat an eye. That's the city for you. Now, I never lived in one myself, but I visited him a few times, so I know what it's like. So you can cook up people. All no pigs must die the in the city of wolves. You're yeah! <laughs> now, does that sound badass or what? I bet you'd... Hey! I know, I know, okay, CLG. Call. I'm just trying to make a little small talk, that's all. Anywho, around the these parts, everyone knows each other's Clever name. Clever little girl. <laughs> so lots of folks get leery when they see an étranger like you. And since it's my duty Stranger, to protect the town, I, I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Zach, it looks like this sheriff is quite the happy-go-lucky type. A clear indication of just how peaceful this town is. It's very pretentious. No, it sounds Melvin, pretentious about the Lee's Clarkson case. I knew case. you were here for that case. Can't put one past the FBI. Mm. So they even got eyes on the smallest of towns like us, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Our world is filled with information, and it's all within their grasp. FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh no, he shaved through his eyebrow into his hairline. That's even worse. The Lee's Clarkson <laughs> case is connected to a top secret case that we've... I know, I know. If you're fixing to take the lead, <laughs> then go right ahead. I'm just the humble sheriff yeah, of a the tiny little town. My jobs are to stop my neighbors from beating the piss out of each other scar. and listen to old folks but it complain. More like he Honestly, it. this whole murder scar. case has been weighing me down. So I'm going to give you my full cooperation, Mr. Special Agent, sir. Well, Zach, that was anticlimactic. Like, you hasn't got I didn't even get to use scar. my secret weapon. Shaved. Whereas in the future, you can see the scar on the old man. Then there's a cold storage warehouse on the southern end of town, isn't there? I'd like to get permission to enter it. Say what? You want to see where the body's being kept, right? Oh, I get it now. Lisa's body, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, that's what I call a special agent. You already figured that much out. Mm. But, uh, hmm, I'm not too sure that, uh, going down there at this point is really going to help much, you know? Explain it yourself, it doesn't Daddy. doesn't sound like you're doing that. Up. That's incredible. I don't believe this. Amazing. Did you hear that, Zach? They put the body in a cold storage warehouse. This is fantastic. Yeah, the case over to somebody talking Insanely to fantastic. Like really? Hey. Well, uh, how about that? <laughs> going to take control of the case by <laughs> coming across the Well, all thing. right then. I'll head on down to the warehouse ahead of you and make sure we get permission to search it. Sounds good. The management company only keeps the warehouse open during certain hours. You'll so have you to come during those hours. That, so that I ain't looking to create any further disturbances. So be on time. Got, Got it? it? Come on, let's roll, CLG. I'm gonna walk home, Daddy. I still got another stop to make. I'm guessing she's gonna oh, die as well. If you say so, sweetie. Because they were saying how he always is in the place <laughs> she's where real sharp. girls die. So I try to stay out of her way. Well, all right then, York. I think I'll Think see you at the up. warehouse. <laughs> That'd be the only way they could make a scene young by making her short. Because <laughs> short and young are not the same thing. They're not. A big difference. Skateboarding is your main method of getting around the car. Because you don't have the car. Have a lag. I was saying. Hey.
Hey, you! Get yourself for dogs, man. <laughs> you you to ain't get secretly on cutting dogs. kids up and sticking them into jars while you work as an FBI agent on the surface, are you? I think he is. Or... <laughs> I think you should Using run Using your now. FBI connections to sell kids to child trafficking organizations? No, I think he's I've arrested stopping. people who've done both, but I've never engaged in either of those activities myself. But it doesn't sound Of course, I have imagined doing <laughs> such things in order to learn more about the psychology of the criminals I deal with. Sure, imagines with multiple personality disorder. <laughs> I think one of his other personalities may have chopped them up and he's just experiencing it in a tertiary manner, believing he's imagined it when one of his other personalities. It was just a joke. Why are you getting all serious? And don't tell me what you imagine, or else I'll get scared of you for he's real. Imagine chopping you up right now. Hey, he is literally imagining a can I come with you? No, that's a terrible idea. He just told you he thinks about You signed a contract with me, remember? Kids. And besides, <laughs> I'm kind of worried about my daddy. And he did stupidly sign a contract whatever you to like. protect you from all of these. This is America, land of the free. But I have one condition. What condition? Don't ask me about Zack. It's a private matter. Zack, it feels like she's carrying something with her. Kind of reminds me of you back when we first met. I can't leave her alone like this. You feel the same way, don't you? Is it going to be like the good life? Is she going to be multiple personalities as well? But actually, they are different characters. And Gators help you wear direction and distance like a main quest and waypoint. Um, you okay there, girl? You look like you haven't By the way, Patty. What do you usually do when you're at home? Is this an interrogation? Her name isn't Patsy. Oh, oh no. Patricia, okay. I just figured that since we're working together now, Dude, it'd be a good idea to learn a little more. <laughs> be a good idea to learn a little more about you. I didn't think that would cut off the conversation. As they touch. No, moving along whilst this conversation's going on. No, you're not allowed to oh. It looks like David Tennant. There's two. Well, you can't go up the curve. You are a pagan. Yeah, I'm gonna need to save. Like, Melvin called you a strange. Can... Melvin called you a strange name. Okay, he's sort of continuing the conversation because he's on. Why give me the opportunity to go on it? Okay, Patty. I'm going to try asking you that question again. What do you do when you're at home? Uh, I watch TV and look up stuff on the internet, I guess. Ain't much else to do when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Really? For some reason, I envisioned you working hard to take care of all the chores around the house. Doggos. Doggos that can fight us. Oh, rare kill. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. People don't normally go around and kill the doggos in the park. Malfation. Oh, two punches. Okay. Sorry, I need to make up my hundred dollars that I lost. Um, you can use vision to acquire important hints. Cheat the game. Use vision to deplete your competition. So you clearly love TV shows, but what about movies? Movies? We don't even have a movie theater around TV. here, so I can only watch what I manage to catch on TV. Like what? For some reason, the only movie channel we get at home is the sci-fi one. So I just watch a lot of sci-fi. Like what? What's the last one you saw? Uh, the one with Schwarzenegger, where there's all these clones. The Sixth Day, 2000, directed by Roger Spottiswood. You must be very well versed in sci-fi if you can appreciate an Arnold S. film. I thought it was way too easy for them to make more clones. And you'd never see a clumsy investigation like that on CSI. That's right. It's realistic. 
Everything about that film is so realistic. It may be difficult for a child to understand. But, Patty, that's not your fault. No, that movie was All of Arnold S.'s good. films are filled with hyper-realism, you know. On top of that, Roger Spottiswood is a director who excels in dealing with hardcore subject matter. Turner and I Hooch, Stop or My Mom Anyone Will Shoot, ask. each film features one of the toughest tag teams you'll ever find. No, ask I can see why it's beyond you, though. Oh, no, what I'm trying to say is, Schwarzenegger's twins. character was just a pilot, right? Why was he so strong? It's okay, Patty. You don't need to try and act like an adult to impress me. I didn't understand the charm of Arnold S. films when I was your age either. You need to take your time and slowly reel the film S, in. Do that, personally. and Arnold and S. will greet you with a big, warm smile. Whatever, just stop calling him Arnold S., okay? It's yes. irritating me. <laughs> Weird. Zach. Nobody calls him Arnold S. Zach. Okay, cut off the conversation again. Patty, is something wrong? Me from I got something we'll to say. Sticking out a mile. When I first met you in the hotel parking lot, you mentioned Saint Rouge, right? If you want to find it, maybe you should track down Professor R. Professor R? Yeah. Professor R owns the jazz bar on the other side of the bayou. How do you know that? Uh, because... He lives. Because, huh? He everything. Interesting. Alexis has been unlocked. That doesn't look like Alexis to me. I'll bet. <laughs> That's a card there. Yeah, I'm gonna save and because um because I've been running while streaming on the thing.